Hey everyone, my name's David. Um, and does anyone know what this sport is? No. no. It's similar in its format, but it shares a similar history of like ancient. So uh, this sport comes from Ireland. It's called hurling. Um, and what I do when I'm not here, I teach people how to play it. Um, so, and I also make YouTube videos about it, which I create like tutorials and actually how to play it just to kind of get to wider audience. Um, and the mission behind this is to increase the no number of people playing in this continent. Um, and why do I do this? Because it's the best sport in the world. <laughs> and I know I'm a bit biased, but I do think that it really is. Um, so like to describe it, uh, this is like a, like a typical match scenario where uh, you, there's a tackle going on. It has, uh, it's fast paced like lacrosse. It uh, requires the same level uh, of hand-eye coordination as baseball and as the roughness of hockey. And I'll go into hockey in a later point, but imagine all of that all in one sport. Um, it's also the fastest field sport in the world. And if you were to compare it to North American sports, this is the fastest shot ever recorded. And that's just recorded and compared to hockey and baseball. Um, but let's back up a bit, you know, like the, the overview. Um, so Hurling is actually 3,000 years old. It's considered to be the oldest field sports and sport in the world. Um, and it's from Ireland. And these little dots here represent uh, Hurling pitches in Ireland. So although it's a major sport in Ireland, it's a micro sport in this continent. Um, and the typical field dimensions, if, if you were to look at it, uh, a, a standard soccer uh, size field, it's about one and a half times the size of that. Um, and there's usually 15 players either side, but here with the pitch restrictions you, to kind of reduce the player count. Um, but the objective of it is to progress the ball up the field. Um, and what he's doing right here is soloing the ball. So it's kind of like an egg and spoon race, if you were to look at it like that. Mm -hmm. um, and what you can do is you can strike the ball out of the air, you can strike it on the ground, you can hand pass, anything that progresses up the field. Um, you have H-shaped goalposts at either end, and the crossbar in the middle here. So above the crossbar is one point, and below the goalkeeper here, that's worth three points. Um, so what is, what's going on in North America? Where is Harden in North America? Uh, when I first moved here seven years ago, I first lived in Boston, I quickly realized that there's a, a large community here, and that community is 120 clubs, and it's grown. Some uh, actually started by Americans, and it spans from really from coast to coast. Um, and this is like the, it, Canada has about like 11 clubs, but the US has a strong army presence as well because it's known as a warrior sport, so they relate a lot to it. And uh, every couple of years there's uh, world games that go on in Ireland, and uh, the US does have a, a women's hurling team that is sent there. Um, so this documentary here explains the origins of ice hockey and how when Irish immigrants moved to Canada, they brought Hearn with them and started playing on ice. So that, there's a lot of overlap there that hockey players can uh, adjust to it. Um, and to, uh, with more in, in the US, uh, in Fenway Park in Boston, it was play, first played in 1954, then again in 2015, and last year in 2018. It modified rules just like for the uh, smaller pitch dimension. And there's, uh, with all the clubs that compete, there's the finals that uh, are happening in uh, Virginia this year. Um, the whole thing is just an untapped potential of the sports in, in America and growing it. And one audience segment is that it's an off-season sport for hockey players. Because a lot of them actually play lacrosse. So if you would say like something that's the grandfather sport to your origin sport, it, there's an interest there. Um, and this is why, because it really is the best sport, because any any athlete can draw some inspiration from their original sport to it. They can bring something to it. There's to, 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 to many different elements to it. Um, and one thing on a personal note, it taught me, the sport never, it, it taught me never to quit. And because it's, it's pretty raw, it's a pretty raw sport, but like you keep on going. When you get the ball, you're, you're tired already after fighting for it, but you keep on going. And that kind of applies to doing SEO for Coca-Cola or doing anything. It's when, Often it's hard to get what you where where you want to be, but when you get there, you still have to push on, no matter what your energy levels. 
And if you ever get a chance, I suggest try Ireland because chances are you'll you'll love it, and you'll be up here like me in a year presenting about it. <laughs> uh, so with that, is there any questions? Uh, yes. Yeah. Why now? Uh, so Hurden has actually been in in this continent for 130 years, but no one's ever heard of it. And I think it's there's a couple of things uh, <clears throat> like political reasons within the organisation that I won't go into it right now, but. And uh, I think America is looking for a new sporting experience. And there's like a decline in American football where uh, there's like head injuries and everything. So parents are looking for something that's different. And this can stem to, there's like 35 million Irish Americans in the US, but only 4 million people in Ireland. So if you look at the audience potential there, there's, there's definite interest that there's an overlap. Any other questions? How much does it cost to play? So, yeah. Good question. If you compare it to other uh, American sports, it actually is a lower entry cost than other ones, mainly because uh, there's less equipment involved. So you have a helmet and you have a stick and then a ball and, uh, and the soccer boots. So that averages uh, $270 roughly uh, for an entry cost. And if you compare it to hockey with so much gear, that actually it averages to about 1000 So does that answer your yeah, question? Absolutely. And any other questions? I think we've answered this, but uh, how long has Herman been in North America? Oh, yeah, so, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's been uh, here 130 years, and uh, the political reasons, it was actually uh, the British, when they took over Ireland, they tried to, they, we were speaking Irish, and uh, that language was taken away, and said uh, many other cultural aspects. Um, so that's why when, when it was uh, beginning to grow in Canada, it was British rule, so it was actually uh, a lot of players there. Uh, they were uh, disguising it as field hockey rather than saying like we're not playing like a cultural sport, we're playing like field hockey. So there's a lot of political reasons, but that's why I think like now it's it's cool to be Irish now. There's no no Irish need to fly signs anymore, and no British laws. So I really think now is the perfect time. Um, any other questions? Other than the planted ones. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time.